Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Welcome to Stock Markets with Bruce. They call me Uncle Bruce. Um, I didn't make up that name myself, by the way. The viewers of this channel gave me that handle and it's kind of stuck. So there you have it. I'm here. Um, Uncle Bruce is here where we try to explain the stock markets in plain English. What's just going on? And can you help me understand it, Bruce? Because it, it is complicated. Yes, it is. It is rather complicated out there. All kinds of crazy stuff going on here. Um, welcome one to, uh, to, to, to the broadcast. Today's date is Thursday, April the 20th, um, 2023. And uh, I welcome you all to the to the program. Um, uh, you know, I sure I, I, I sure wish that uh, you could have all been around in 1973 and 83 to see how the markets reacted in those days to breaking news that would, would have come out because uh, the world has completely changed uh, uh, in, our, you know, in this planet of ours. It's just unbelievable uh, how we as stockbrokers used to absorb news and then relay it to you, your followers, and how you used to get your news first thing in the morning. Um, before you worked your way down to the office or your employment, wherever you went, uh, things have changed. Some things haven't. Um, um, call-in radio shows are still still around. Uh, people doing the call-in radio show, uh, local, you know, like in your local hometown, they still have those. Um, uh, but those are now on. Well, those are on AM radio and FM, I guess. They used to only be on AM radio. <laughs> I remember <clears throat> driving to work in the mornings and and. Uh, Occasion, I'd have AM band stations and, and FM band stations to listen to. <clears throat> and if you wanted to hear talk, uh, you know, political talk, sports talk, whatever, you'd go to the AM band. Um, but if you wanted to, to hear music, especially if you wanted to hear the latest album from Boston, or you wanted to listen to uh, ELO, or you wanted to listen to Led Zeppelin, you went to FM radio. You could, you could then hear, you know, the good stuff. But pop music was on AM radio and classic long track rock record records and songs were on FM. Those are the good old days. Uh, I miss those. Anyway, I was younger than two. So really full of energy. Anyway, welcome to the party. Uh, look, we're down 187 on the Dow this morning. That's a half a percentage point. Is it the end of the world? No. Does it feel like the end of the world? Uh, not to me, but for some people it does. Uh, we're down 32 on the S&P, which is three quarters of 1%, and we're down 131 points on NASDAQ, which is 1%. Uh, crude oil down $1.20 a barrel again, 77.96 a barrel. Well, welcome back, oil, back to the, uh, you know, another dollar or so, you're back to the mid-70s. What happened to that $82, $83 oil that was going to go to 110 What happened to all those cutbacks? All those oil production cutbacks that were being led by Saudi Arabia just doesn't seem to be holding the price of crude. What happened to the summer driving season, the, the, the anticipated shortage? What happened to the demand from all the China China economies firing up? What happened to all that? What? 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 Uh, not much uh, because we were drowning in oil a month ago and we're drowning in more now because more oil is coming onto the market. Every time they announce a shortage, oil from elsewhere fills the gap. And so there's oil everywhere you go. There are no lineups for this stuff. Okay, well, fine. Tesla, 166.34 right now, down $14.29. Um, oh my gosh, is this the end of the world? No. Um, is this a, a trading range happening here? Maybe. Um, are there any viewers who watch this YouTuber who write options asking themselves this morning what do i do with my tesla calls that i wrote over the last month and a half or two months because oh my god are they ever falling off the table um there are there are a number of viewers here this morning who are definitely watching a number of viewers who are watching this on rerun at probably double the speed so i sound like this um wondering what to do what to do um I have good news for option writers, whether you're an option writer for, for Tesla, you're an option writer on GameStop, Apple, Microsoft, you're making money. You're going to make a lot of money. Um, I, I keep warning you folks, and I, I apologize in advance for those of you who are just not prepared for this information. 
um, if you're not ready to receive this, I, I apologize, but you have to know, I, I have to break the bad news to you guys, okay? If you're an option writer, um, you're going to make a lot of money and you're going to have new problems that you've never had before on a consistent basis. <clears throat> so many of you who are here watching me, listening to me, following me, you've been very good at losing money on the stock market for years. Some of you folks are, are decade losers. You are so good at losing money. Or you've made money in your investments, but you've made a fraction of what you were supposed to be making. So your investment advisors, the wealth advisors, and whatever these people call themselves, are telling you how great you're doing and how your account is growing and growing. But what they're not telling you is how underperforming you are, how gra grossly underperforming your assets have been doing uh, terribly uh, in the last 20 years. That's the truth. Um, I'm just going to say uh, those days are over now. If you have taken control of your, your assets and you're writing call options on a number of these shares we talk about all the time and you're kind of following the advice of the old balding homeless Canadian you're probably noticing that you have more wins than losses and if you if you just keep your arms folded long enough you will benefit greatly from winning as these stocks fluctuate along and these contracts you write die worthless or really drop in value yeah you got to do rollovers and you know you got to move into uh you know higher price go yes it's called managing your money um theoretically your wealth advisors were supposed to do that they were supposed to manage your money for the last 15 20 years that you gave them when you're in your 30s and 40s or whatever age you are now and they were supposed to stay ahead of the market curve and trends for you but they, they get fat and lazy. These folks are, tra are handling trillions of dollars of money and they don't know who you are. The folks managing those dollars, they don't know your name. They don't know your profession. They don't give a crap about your personal life. They don't care because they get a percentage of the value of the portfolio as their payout. And once you are in the multi-million dollar a year level of earnings, you give a crap if you can make an extra hundred thousand dollars this year over last year you don't and so your performance might be half a percentage point two percentage point four percentage point less than it should be because your wealth advisors are so filthy freaking rich now they have such a wonderful lifestyle they don't need to keep adding on top of on top of on top of. they're managing the trillions as it is and it's just great the way it is and they never sell and they do slow moves they slow walk transactions because they just want to keep everything calm and keep the dollars rolling in every month one twelfth of one sorry every month one twelfth of two percent of the value of your money goes to them because you pay them about two percent a year in management fees and one twelfth of that comes out every 30 days so they get paid every month and so they love it when the market's up this month because they get more money. They get one twelfth of 2% of the value of your account at the end of the month. And that's why bull markets are great for fund managers and hedge fund managers and top notch, uh, you know, big outfits that have wealth, uh, wealth account. But for the smaller investors, by the time it comes down to you, you're, you're earning three for 4% a year on your money. There you go. Now, go ahead and retire on that. You've put 50000 in, 150000 in, whatever. You're doing it at work. Your employer's matching you, and the money's going into a big, fat pool of being managed. And, da -da 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 -da. and uh, after 30 years or 15 years or 10 years or whatever the time is, you look at your statements, and you do the mental calculation and go, I've been putting in $200 every two weeks into my retirement account. My employer has been matching it every two weeks for the last 10 years. Uh, this is how much money we've put in together. Here's how much it's worth. And I'm supposed to retire on $84,000. What? Uh, I only have 10 more years to work. It's worth $84,000. Um, 
It's not going to work for me. Uh, I can't live on $84,000 for the rest of my life. Um, I got to get this going. And so you're here uh, somehow, some way. You found me. I don't know how you found me, but you found me. Uh, um, where does that line come from? Um, and uh, you're writing call options. And uh, some of you wrote call options on Tesla lately. I'm going to get back to that. And the stock's now 165.65. And uh, a whole bunch of your contracts this morning, you're going to notice something uh, kind of consistent once they open for trading. Uh, they're, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They're lower. They've gone down in value. Um, the ones that expire tomorrow, um, many are going to expire worthless. And so it's time to buy them back and write something else. Um, now, those of you who are gambling for tomorrow, because I know you're out there. Um, a lot of you lurkers out there, you don't tell me what you're doing. But I know what you're doing because the kind of questions I get tips me off as to what you're doing. You're trying to figure out what contract can I write today that will die worthless tomorrow? Where can I make a quick couple of hundred bucks? Um, even though you've got tens of thousands of dollars in the Tesla, you're looking for nickels and dimes. Um, so you're wondering, well, Bruce, you know, should I just uh, buy back my, my $160 calls, my 170s, my my 180s, my 190s, my 200s, my 210s. Do, should I buy them back right now? And then what should I write that expires tomorrow so I can make a couple quick bucks? What should I write maybe for the next week or two? Uh, what, what should I do? And legitimate questions, of course. Um, but you're you're gambling now because you're you're looking for a quick one day hit. Uh, but I, I get it. Um, I mean, theoretically, you could you could buy calls back, uh, you know, that, that, and turn around and write calls tomorrow that are one seventy fives, one eighties, and hope they expire worthless. You could try that, maybe make a couple of bucks here and there, maybe, maybe. Um, there will be volatility, and then their hills. Uh, we'll be watching for that here. Um, right now, by the way, at one sixty five sixty, Tesla's down eight point three percent. Is if I got my math correct, so another one point seven percent droppage. We're in the 10% rule. We have first sale restrictions kicking in. So watch for that. We're, we're one and three quarters percentage points away from the possibility of that kicking in right away. So if we open at 161.2, we might be in the 10% rule, and that might negate volatility. Uh, there'll be volatility for 10% from zero to one down negative 10. Uh, there'll be volatility. But beyond 10%, it might not be as volatile. But... I could be wrong. Um, if you write calls, however, that have like uh, two months to go, and um, and you're going to write say 175 calls for two months to go, you might get a nice premium this morning, depending on where the stock is the second you do it. Um, but it'll give you a protection um, against an upswing out of nowhere. Um, I don't expect Tesla to go to $215 a share next week on our bear market rebound. I just don't. Um, it's possible 140 is in the neighborhood for Tesla, as low as it's possible. No guarantees, though, because it's off $40 in three weeks. It was uh, 210 whatever it was. I don't know if it was 215 but it was certainly 205 uh, within three weeks ago. Um, here we are at 165 uh, So another $10, $15 wouldn't be outrageous because that's, you know, 20% haircut, 25% haircut. Not crazy for Tesla stock to do that. Not at all. Um, we have seen already it hit down to 100. I mean, we've done that. Now, some of you out there, um, you might be in a position, very juicy position, to be able to buy back calls for a very low price versus what you sold them for. When you did rollovers, subsequent one or two or three, you may now be in a position to really score a nice return to turn around and write calls closer in time uh, two to three months out, um, out of the money, uh, bring in some cash, and you might be in a position to buy another deep in the money call option on your Tesla. Some of you folks might be buying more Tesla shares or deep in the money calls to write more contracts as you parabolically grow your earnings potential. So look at this as an opportunity to scheme it out and do your mathematics and figure out, oh, yeah, that's right. I can buy these calls back for 25 cents on the dollar and what I wrote them for and um, write, you know, write new calls, bring in this additional cash 
And then I'm going to buy another deep in the money call and I'm going to write another call now. And so instead of writing two contracts or three or five or six, I'm writing seven, eight, nine or 10, whatever, whatever number. Congratulations to all of you. Um, GameStop is dropping as well. Um, not like Tesla is dropping, but it's it's off a bit. Uh, last I saw, see what it shows here. Yesterday it dropped 30 cents a share to 21.31. It's now 21.08, down 23 cents again. Uh, so GameStop under 21 could be a possibility today. Could GameStop be down a buck fifty sometime today? Like sometime during the day, could it be off to twenty? Uh, it could be like nineteen eighty a share uh, sometime today, or or twenty ten or something. Like, yeah, it, it could. It it could. Um, so watch for you know stink bids on your call buybacks on GameStop today. Look for those. Those of you who've written calls on uh, SoFi and are worried about the SoFi earnings coming out in the next um, week and a half, today might be possibly the opportunity to get back your calls on SoFi that you shouldn't have written at a price that makes it, you know, a little gain or you break even or you don't lose as much. Uh, keep an eye on that too. All right. Uh, what else can we talk about here? Uh, Apple down 160, but it's still at 166. It's holding rather nicely. It gained 115 yesterday. It's only down a buck 66. Goldman down to 336 yesterday. Uh, well, actually, we gained at the end of the day. That's when it was all said and done. Goldman's up 298, but it's down 237 this morning. Cisco lost 220 yesterday, 227 yesterday. It's down nine cents now. Arc lost three cents yesterday. It's down 73 cents at the moment. Microsoft closed at 288.45, uh, tried to get to the 290.95 range a couple of days ago, couldn't do it, had an eight cent gain yesterday during the session. It's now down 206 this morning to 286.39. So Microsoft is, is giving up a little more of its shine. Um, Bed Bath and Beyond, oh my gosh, what a story this is. A 12 cent gain yesterday, down 10.4 cents right now, 36 cents a share at the moment. Uh, there's all kinds of talk about that. Pfizer was down 31 cents yesterday. It's down 8 cents again this morning. HBQ was down 101 yesterday to 30.21. It's now $30 even, down 22 cents a share. Um, Alphabet was at 105.02, down a dime yesterday. It's down 27 cents right now. A nothing burger going on there. Amazon was up two bucks yesterday to 104. It's now down 60 cents, 103.70. Nvidia was up 264. It's down 187. And Unity was up 11 yesterday. It's down 51 right now. And there you have it. Jobless claims rise to 245,000. Signaling rising layoffs is a, is a headline here. Uh, number of people getting unemployment benefits lifts to its highest level since 2021. Well, th that was last year. I mean, this isn't like a 10-year record or anything like that. Uh, 5,000 people who applied, more 5,000 more people applied for unemployment benefits. Hardly a wave of jobless lists going on over there. Um, crazy. Anyway, um, there you have it. Uh, we'll see how that uh, that goes forward. We'll follow that. Thank you, everybody, uh, for being here this morning. I hope you're going to have a good day. I think you are going to have a good day if you're an option writer. Um, things are definitely working in your favor. Now, there's other uh, uh, there's other things going on, other concerns going on out there. Um, some of the bank stocks that were um, that we were following, like First Republic and and uh, some of these other brand names that we've heard about, um, there's uh, there's issues there, um, like Western Alliance Bank and so on. Uh, some of these banks have recovered uh, quite a bit from their lows uh, of the last little while, and um, they started falling again um, in the pre market and. Uh, there's nervousness out there about why are some of these bank stocks that already took a haircut, why are they you know, have partial bounce back and they're falling again? What, what's going on here? The thought was, well, there was a run on deposits that knocked off Silicon Valley and, 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 and other signature bank. But we thought we were through that and we were over that and things seem to be calming down and all of a sudden things are not actually calming down. It's the second wave of selling that's coming in and the second wave of sellers are the misinformed and those who don't have an advisor to go to for advice and are getting swayed by scary headlines to uh, you know sell first and ask questions later. And there are people getting hurt out there who are selling needlessly into a weak market that 
are going to regret it probably in the not too distant future. Um, I don't know. Klepto, hey, how you doing, buddy? Thank you for this uh, super chat. Um, do you think now is the time to stock up on Amazon shares? Uh, stock up on Amazon shares? Um, no, <laughs> I don't think so. Um, Amazon is going to continue to struggle along. We're, we're entering a recession. We're going into a slowdown. Amazon is going to feel it. Um, but look, if you're a long-term uh, believer in the company and you want to hold it for 10 years, 15 years, I think you're a winner. Uh, but between now and three years from now, you might be, you know, frustratingly frustrated you're going to be really you know holding a stock that's not crashing but it's not going anywhere and, and you're wondering when is this going to go it's kind of like sofi you're a sofi shareholder you know it's a winner and sooner or later the stock's going to go up but gosh would you mind telling me what day so in klepto you might be in that you know mindset for a while now look you, you can buy amazon right now and write call contracts against it Bring in income and keep, you know, bringing cash in to compensate you for holding this stuff. Yeah, but I'd rather you buy Google instead. Uh, buy Google at a much lower PE multiple, um, bigger profits per shareholder, and write calls on those. Uh, way more upside on Google stock than Amazon because Amazon has a very, very high PE multiple, and interest rates are going to stay where they are or stay a little higher, They're going to go higher than where they are and stay for quite a while which will beat up high PE multiple traders like Amazon. So you want to be in the lower PE multiple universe. I'd go with Google. It's kind of the same price, you know, neighborhood in the Amazon Google price range, low 100s. There you go. Okay. Uh, there you have it. Um, here, look, Shamalama Ding Dong. Uh, hey, Klepto, think now is a good time to get a couple of deep in the money Amazon calls. They have good premiums for selling weekly calls. In my humble opinion, like I said, you can... Can certainly do that you can buy deep in the money calls on google amazon write calls on those short term one month out three months out yeah could do that cool uh anyway there you go. Mm. I, I i plan on buying the you know some shares sitting on it for 10 plus years yeah you can do that clip though another thing you could consider is uh, look take a look for uh, do some google research find out uh etfs that are um, high growth ETFs that have a good chunk of Amazon as they're in their portfolios. You may find some ETFs out there that 10% uh, of all the stock they have is Amazon and the other, another 10% is, is uh, Google and another 10% is Apple. You might want to be in that kind of an ETF and just throw the dough in there and just pile up cash inside of a, of a high growth uh, NASDAQ 100 or, uh, you know, software whatever etf that might be a place where you may want to go rather than just in the amazon by itself this way you have a little more coverage and uh, a little more protection it's not as exciting but uh, you can write options on those too but uh, yeah if you really want to make money on the option market and amazon but you can't afford to buy a hundred amazon at a time maybe you have enough dough to buy a deep in the money call on amazon um, for a fraction of the cost of amazon itself and then you can write a call option on that option and bring income in while holding it. Uh, and then as you add more money to your account every month, <clears throat> you may find that <clears throat> in three months from now, two months from now, whatever it is, you add another deep in the money call to your portfolio and now you're writing two calls at a time. And here we go. The growth curve is on your way. You could do that. I don't know. Whatever you want to do. Um, anyway, up to you. Um, uh, you got a lot of God choice but if you're a small investor um, and you can't buy enough stock to write an option on it um, and writing calls is you know something you're not familiar with and uh, uh, you know then then really you know you're, you're better off putting your money into an ETF and uh, but do some homework uh, check it out you know, um, totally up to you but uh, thanks for the question nice to have you here um what's going on everybody thank you all for popping in here uh, appreciate this very much uh we have right now uh, some thumbs ups that have come in already 80 are here thank you for these 80 thumbs ups everybody keep them coming i appreciate it I'm trying to get to 200 i think we hit 200 thumbs ups again yesterday i if i recall i think we did it 
um, is usually what happens with this uh, show, this this channel, is uh, the live viewers throw their thumbs ups out there, and then the rerunners come in and uh, they uh, nail uh, they nail those thumbs ups for me, um, and that gets us over top of the uh, the magical two hundred uh, uh, thumbs up number that I'm always striving for. Um, just taking a look here. How are we doing on that? I think as of yesterday evening, last night's show, yesterday's show uh, was 198 thumbs ups. I need two more. Is anybody out there that can put two thumbs ups on yesterday's show for me? That would be nice if we could hit 200. We hit 200 the day before that, uh, well over 200 uh, every day before that. But uh, yeah, we need two more for yesterday if anybody can help out. Appreciate it. And again, this morning, if you're watching on the rerun, thank you all so much for uh, for being part of this channel and helping out with thumbs ups it uh, definitely leads to uh, excellent momentum and uh, tells youtube to promote this channel and, and uh, show others the way <clears throat> if we can find more folks here to come in here and write options uh, we'll have more winners and uh, i'll tell you uh, there are i don't know uh, <laughs> i i just i just shudder to think of the millions of people out there who are trying to figure out what to do with their investments <clears throat> they're in they're in uh, a world of pain right now because the markets are off this morning anywhere from half a point to one percent tesla's off almost 15 dollars a share the bank stocks are under pressure interest rates are rumored to be going higher inflation doesn't stop unemployment numbers are getting worse and there's nowhere they can go for uh, for advisory services unless they have a million dollars to find a wealth management person uh the sec has allowed the uh, investment business to completely abandon their clientele. Um, the 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 ninety percent of investors out there, in my guesstimation, are people with less than a million to invest. Um, um, I would say uh, uh, eighty percent of investors have less than a hundred thousand in the market. Seventy percent of investors have less than fifty thousand in the market. Uh, Sixty-five percent have less than ten thousand in the market. I mean, it's a great majority of uh, of investors out there, Canada, USA, elsewhere, but certainly Canada, USA, um, have been abandoned by the uh, regulatory agencies that used to protect them, uh, the SEC and the Securities Commission of Canada, all these outfits. They do not. Um, they really do not um, uh, look out for the little guy anymore. Uh, the little guy is now on their own with one of these. And if you have questions about your account, you go to the FYI section or dial an 800 number and hope to God that the person you get knows what the hell you're talking about and can help you because you don't have a stockbroker anymore. And there is no um, requirement for you to have a stockbroker anymore to um, guide you in your investment strategies. Um, for some people, though, <clears throat> and for many people, they like it this way. Um, and I can understand why. As an as a as an ex stockbroker, and as a as a you know, over the years I've been an investor myself up until I started doing this. Um, <clears throat> I get it. I mean, the convenience of being able to buy and sell stock with these with these devices is fantastic. That was a great. Uh, but what you've lost, um, and this is the thing that that really blows me away. Um, most investors today that are under 40, yeah, yeah. If you're under 40 years of age, you've never had a stockbroker. <laughs> you probably have never, ever had a person acting on your behalf as your stockbroker. Over 40 to 50, maybe half of you have had one. And over 50-year-olds, you might have had a stockbroker if you've ever had one in the past. When I was a stockbroker, um, there would be people in, um, like I would have a client uh, that would be uh, a new client, and I would find out that that individual works at a, a company with with uh, two hundred employees, and um, <clears throat> talking to the client, getting to know the client, and vice versa. I'd find out that inside the office, those two hundred people, only ten of them have a stockbroker. The other 190 people don't have a stock. Didn't have a stockbroker. They had all their money, extra any cash they had, was in a, a guaranteed investment certificates, CDs at their bank, because they didn't know 
a broker. They didn't know what brokers could do. They were confused by the stock market. It was it was gibberish to them and they didn't understand it and they just wanted to keep their money safe and they were brainwashed by their bankers to keep the money at the bank and we'll just pay you 7% interest or 5% interest or whatever the interest rate was in those days and you don't have to worry about a thing. And only a small sliver of people would have had a stock broker and I will have an individual in this office that in today's world would be making 60, 70, 80,000 dollars a year married maybe kids maybe not maybe they both husband and wife are both working and they combine or making 120,000 a year whatever the heck it is and i would then work with those people these this couple and, and and to build wealth and get them to buy into the for the rest of your life game plan build your portfolio and slowly but surely i would be given uh, people friends of this person at the office would be introduced to me and I would slowly have a second person from the office and a third person from the office be, open an account with a stock broker. And as everyone got more and more comfortable, and I'd pop into the office once in a while to say hi to my client or, or we'd go for lunch or something or whatever, other, uh, other office people would ask their buddy, who's that? Who's that? Who, 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 who were you talking to earlier today? Oh, that's my stock broker. Oh, oh what, what, what are you doing? You know, and then they'd find out what we were doing. And that's how I built my book, referrals, referrals, referrals. In today's world, first of all, there is no office with 200 people in the, uh, in the you know, in one or two floors anymore. They don't exist. <clears throat> Many of you are at home. You're isolated. And uh, the uh, Securities and Exchange Commission does not insist that you have a stockbroker to do your trades. They uh, basically uh, have been convinced by the brokerage industry, which are dominated by the biggest investment bankers, to allow you to open an account with something like this and to, to, to use your finger and agree to terms and conditions. And all these terms and conditions, you don't read them because they will take you an hour and a half to read 25 pages of legalese. Who reads all this crap? Uh, but that is the protection that is apparently they have for themselves. And you've given authorization to the broker to enact whatever policies the broker can enact to protect their capital, their firm's capital, and you are at a disadvantage. And the SEC is happy with that. They're, they're, they've been convinced by all the investment bankers that this is good enough for these investors because these are small people with small amount, not small people, small investors with not a lot of money. And uh, the reality is that some of you though have quite a bit of capital and access to capital, but you open up $5,000 trading accounts, $10,000 trading accounts to try to trade some stocks from time to time. And a lot of people trade for a little while and then they give it up and they, they don't do it anymore. And others who have only got $5,000 to their name, uh, beg, borrow and steal, put the five grand into these little platform accounts, trade like crazy for uh, three weeks, three months, a year and lose most of it. And then they give up and they take whatever's left over and they go back into their corner and never come back again because they can't make money in the market because it's rigged. There you go. And that's today's stock market. And then there are those who are educating themselves and they understand that this is an entry or entering into a world of uh, very highly sophisticated trading strategies out there and you are willing to learn how this works and you will not give up and you are going to come back and come back and come back and learn how options work or stock the stocks work the markets work and some of you find a guy like me uh that could have been your broker years ago um, and could have been your advisor today if I were 30 years, 35 years old, 40 years old, but I wouldn't be talking to you today because if I were a 35 year old wealth advisor, um, I would be told by my manager in my branch to not open accounts for anybody with less than a million dollars. And so none of you, almost virtually none of you, maybe 0.1% of the people watching me would ever be in a position to have an account with me. And then I wouldn't be able to hands-on help you manage your money because it's not my job. I'm just bringing the dough in to hand it to the guys in New York to run it for you. And I'm getting a sliver of the action. That's today's reality. That's today's investment business. You're on your own. And the SEC has signed off on it a long time ago, a long, long time ago. And um, the SEC people 
that ran that ran the Securities and Exchange Commission from the 1980s and the 70s and the 60s and the 50s. They would be appalled, horrified, if they were alive today to see what's happened to the investment business that they used to regulate. They would be panicked. They wouldn't believe it that it has gone this loosey-goosey that anyone can open an account online without even being physically seen that they're actually a human being. Um, they 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 click approvals without using author uh, autographs. There's no witnesses to sign. Like you don't have a witness witnessing your signature on the contract. It's it, you got to be kidding me. And we're dealing with trillions of dollars collectively here that are in the market with all those sharks out there who know how to take a tenth of a percentage point off the top on every trade. These people are taken to, they're being brought into the slaughterhouse. And it's true. It's exactly what's happening. But it's called freedom now. Freedom, less government intervention. You must allow people to, to run their lives as they see fit. And government shouldn't be involved. And so the regulators are being pushed out, pushed out, pushed out. And uh, those outfits that can sway the regulators to make the rules work for them are going to make it work on their side of the trade and too bad on the other side of the trade. And so if you come into this market uneducated, you are asking for some serious trouble. By the way, Tesla 164.80 now under 165, down 8.7%. This is why I keep almost begging you guys to take the classes that I've put together because I'm one of the last of the uh, brokers left. Uh, I'm going to be 68 this year, 68. Um, after uh, after uh, I left the uh, business in Canada and, and offshore, uh, I mean, there are today's brokerage world is a sliver of what it used to be like. I mean, there's less than half percent of the brokerage firms left anymore. And if you find a, an independent stockbroker out there, they're not the same people that we were. Uh, the army of, of, of stockbrokers like myself that used to exist in the Western world, uh, there were millions of us who used to protect you guys. And we were the ones reading the business stories off the wires all the time. We were the ones that we're getting phone calls from our contacts all over the place. We were the ones that would call you and tell you what's going on one on one. And I knew what you needed to know. And I also knew you didn't you don't need to know about this information. That information is just going to muddy the works. If you are a follower of high tech stocks, I'm going to contact you about high tech stock and high tech stock information that you need to know. About. And it's likely that if you're really into high tech stock investing, you're going to be calling me every once in a while with information you're finding out and we're comparing notes. That was what was happening. Today, you have no one to call and no one can call you because they don't know your number. Your number is provided. You entered your number in when you applied for the brokerage account, I guess, but no one calls you. You think a tech, they text you, but they don't call you because there's no human being to talk to you. It's a completely different world. So you've got to educate yourself. And I've put together 15 classes so far that tries to explain what's going on in plain English regarding the stock market and stock options and how they work, how they trade, the philosophy around them, how you can write them, how you can buy them back, why you'd write them, uh, rules you should follow when you do do this uh, all kinds of ways for you to make money and to understand the terminology the psychology the the uh, cycle of options the cycle that options have um i've done it the way i that i would want any of my clients to to do it uh by just making these these lessons and they're out there and they're on my website and you can grab them whenever you want check them out um if you want to take advantage of a uh, sale that's on right now i have a deal out there right now as um, many of you do know and some of you have forgotten or you don't know uh, at the moment you can get four five for the price of four if you want there's the deal right there the classes are 150 bucks a piece if you want to take them one at a time whenever you're ready or you can buy five for 5.99.99 
Um, and if you want to do that, you, you make a donation to my uh, PayPal account, which is down below here. Um, and then send me a private email at this email address here to say, Bruce, I've sent you $599.99. Here are the five classes I would like. And to find the classes, just go to my website right over here, stockmarketswithbruce.ca. All this information is down below. By the way. And head to the website and check out for yourself uh, the classes available. Uh, if you get to my homepage, it'll look like this. Uh, you know it's me, uh, stockmarketswithbruce.ca. That's my Canadian website. You'll go to the class section there. It says classes, and you'll find me there. And you'll find class number one and class number two. And you'll see class number three and class number And on and on it goes. And we just added number 15 just the other day, advanced poor mind cover call strategies, a must, an absolute must that you have to have in your Quill. You have to have that quill in your arsenal. You have to have that. You have to know everything about advanced cover call strategies. The reason I give you all these different classes, even like like number 13 and 14, stink bid, stink offer, psychology of the markets, making maximum profits from trading. The reason I go into all this other info rather than just talk about the basics of options is I'm trying to give you guys a handle on just who you're up against to make money in the stock market. So many people out there think that they have one of these that they can buy and sell Apple. I can buy five shares at a time anytime I want. And if they go up a dollar today, I'll sell them and I'll make a quick five bucks because there's no commissions. And then they go back down again, I'll buy them again. And then if I can buy maybe six now, I'll buy six. And then if they go up two or three dollars, I'll sell those. And then if it goes back down two or three, I'll buy seven shares and I'll, I'll just get rich. I'll get rich rolling and rolling and rolling. You want to get into the option writing business? Um, who are you trading against? Because someone's buying your contracts. You're selling them. You're offering them. Someone's buying them. Some of the buyers that are buying your contracts are very sophisticated in, in institutional institutional investors. Um, some of the folks buying your contracts are idiots, don't know a damn thing about anything, and they're just gambling in the marketplace because they've been welcomed into the options market through uh, promotional trades and um, credits and, and and free commissions for the first 20 trades you make and uh, every time they do a trade little bells and balloons go off and it's like a video game and there are people out there trading options like it's a video game and they're going to get their butts handed to them they, they win for a while but one trade will do them in eventually and they will lose it all you option writers have got to understand the market that you're entering to take extract money out of and the money is there for you to be taken there's no question about it being an option writer is a conservative investment strategy and uh, you'll find that information all over the internet if you want to research it yourself uh, but it is true it is a conservative way to bring added income into your portfolio what i'm trying to help many of you do is say to you how would you like to quit your day job way sooner than you ever thought you could be out of work and be self-employed self-reliant living off your own assets that's what i'm helping a lot of people do around this channel and i welcome those of you who want to become part of that if you want to enhance your retirement account to the point where that you know underperforming 401k you've had for years and years uh turning it into a self-administered and self-managed ira you can take your ira and now grow it while you are still working and growing your asset base you can now really grow the value of your ira faster than you would if you don't do anything and leave it to some invisible people in new york um you've got to get your money working for you and working harder for you um, that's the bottom line um, you have to do it and and take the two percent for yourself don't pay it out to anyone else the first two percent that that uh, is made doesn't get paid out to professionals to make it for you it's your money um, you're not into ETFs you're not into other structured investments where percentages of profits go to managers and what have you all profits are coming to you direct to you you make every dime. whether you're a male or a female it doesn't matter that's the other big thing for a number of my viewers to understand this stock market doesn't care if you're a guy or a girl it doesn't know when you're an option writer the buyer of options doesn't know who they're buying them from is it 
Am I buying options from a banker, a hedge fund? Am I buying them from a pension fund? Am I buying them from a male option writer, a female option writer? Uh, anyone, they have, you have no idea and you don't care. They, they want in and you're letting them in to gamble on your stock. You're allowing gamblers into your casino, your slot machine, and you're setting the rules as to how the slot machine operates. Uh, so as females out there who are underpaid and have been for decades at your jobs, you built up your own 401ks and your own IRAs, uh, you also are looking at exactly the same problem that many other people are looking at, whether they are male or female. And the bottom line is you get to a certain age and you realize that what you've got in the retirement fund that is supposedly there to carry you through your golden years, there isn't enough money there. It's woefully underfunded. And it's not like, oh, I'm only 40,000 short. No, you're, you're 400,000 short. You're a million short. The inflation problem we've had flare up in the last year and a half has upset the apple cart for hundreds of millions of potential retirees that are supposed to retire in the next two to 10 years. Because all of a sudden, all the work they've done and all the money they've saved is now way too low for what they are going to need because this inflation problem is not going away in eight seconds. It's here for years. It's going to eat up retirement amounts badly, terribly. There are retirees right now living off of 401s and uh, IRAs. They thought five years ago were big enough to carry them and they're realizing they're eating up that IRA money faster than they thought they would after the fifth year of retirement. They are now realizing we are out of money in six years, eight years, we're broke. We're gonna be social security basket case people in the next two years, four years, six years, seven years. That they never thought that situation, and they were successful uh, career people, worked all their lives, their butts off, got their kids through university, everything. And they're still gonna be broke. You've got to take control of your investments. You cannot count on someone else to magically and miraculously give you the lottery win that you've always deserved and always thought you were going to get. It's just not going to happen. And don't look to Washington for any assistance whatsoever when it comes to your future. There's nothing coming your way. Absolutely nothing coming your way from Washington. I don't care who's in power. It makes no difference. There will not be any help from that area. You've got to do it on your own. Don't look to Ottawa if you're in Canada. Don't look to London if you're in the UK. And don't look to anywhere in the United the EU for any additional help. You have to do it yourself. And if you do do it yourself, you deserve to win because you're taking the initiative to make it happen. And who's the hardest worker you know? You are. And who's the most dedicated to your cause? You are. Uh, who's the one person you can trust? Yourself. It's a... This is your opportunity to figure out how this part of the market works. I know uh, without question, and many of you who are here absolutely know this for a fact, that most of your friends and relatives and coworkers and, and uh, acquaintances will never do what some of you are doing here right now. Out of the 189 people who are here right now, it's only 189. I bet you 170 of those folks are option writers right now. And every single one of those 170 option writers have been asked by friends, associates, relatives, what it is you're doing, or have uh, been approached by friends and what have you about what you're up to with your accounts. And you've attempted out of the kindness of your heart to explain to them what you're doing in the market. And I will bet you 99 out of 100 of you folks have had zero success in helping anyone become an option writer because you've got every excuse coming back at you known to mankind why they will not become option writers themselves. And the bottom line is when it comes right down to it at the very, very bottom, the, 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 the undeniable excuse is that they're actually quite comfortable where they are and they're comfortable in their skin. They're comfortable in their risk tolerances and they just don't have enough confidence in themselves or enough desperation in themselves to step out of their little box and 
learn something brand new that they have no idea what's going on. They, they, they just don't have the confidence to do it. For whatever reason you have, those of you out here, if you're here watching me now, you've already made the biggest step uh, possible. You're watching a homeless, balding guy telling you you can really make something of yourself. And you're going, I'm interested. I, I, you're not shaking me loose with this. I want to hear more, buddy. T tell me something I don't know. Tell me what I need to understand. What do I need to do? And that already is is a sign that you're gonna you're gonna be successful. If you take class number one and survive it, and you will, because it's plain English. It's so easy. Uh, all these folks here with the green type on their 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 names, they're all members of this channel. They've all taken class number one. They've practically all taken every single class I've done. They're still here. They don't go away because they're making money in the option market. There's a reason why I have this logo up here. See this logo right here, Gold Bagel member? Um, there are a number of folks here who are Gold Bagel members of this channel, and they're paying the, they're paying YouTube $25 a month to be a member of this channel. How many channels do you know that charge $25 a month to be a member? How many? Uh, my cheapest membership is 10 bucks a month. I got people paying 10 or 25, see one or the other. And that gives you the right as a member to communicate during market training and to be here Wednesday nights for um, for our uh, our uh, primetime shows and to be here every morning at 8 o'clock a.m. for the pre-alert show. If you're if you're a Gold Bagel member, um, um, you are you are benefiting greatly. 44 added benefits um, to be here. All of these folks who are paying these fees are here not because they're stupid and not because they're losing money. Uh, and they, they were losing money and I didn't know what I was talking about. They wouldn't be here. It's as simple as that. There would be nobody watching this show right now. Nobody. But every day we have a crowd here and every day they, uh, the reruners are here. There are For every person that's here live, there are likely four or five more who watch this show on the rerun because they're working. They, some folks are working, can't watch live. They're all writing contracts. They're all getting smarter at it. They're getting better at it, and they're bringing in money. And we're only on the air. I'm only on the air two years and uh, three months. Uh, January 2021 is when I started doing this. And here we are with, with uh, quite a number of folks getting into this and building on this. And you can verify everything I talk about yourself. Do Google searches all you want. Do YouTube searches all you want. There are all kinds of YouTubers out there to talk to you about how to make money trading options. Unfortunately, 90 to 95% of all the others are talk to you about how to make money buying options. You're on the wrong side of the market. Where you wanna make your money being an option player is being a writer of options. You wanna be the casino that owns the slot machine rather than the patron that plays the slot machine. Don't be playing the slot machine, own the damn thing and become as rich as the owners of the casinos in Las Vegas. Uh, if you ever get to meet a casino manager in Las Vegas, you never will, uh, unless you're related to one maybe, uh, you'll realize how well they get paid. Uh, you'll realize how their assistants get paid, how well they get paid. You'll realize how much money casinos pay staff to run casinos. It's stunning how much money it costs to run a casino in Las Vegas. And yet casinos make money all over the place. Um, become a casino owner in your own house. Learn how to write options. Check out the classes. Get out there. Um, watch a class a week. One every, watch two a week, three, however, what, how much time do you got? How much time do you want to give to it? You can rewatch my classes as many times as you want. Uh, and then you can go out there into Google land and look at anybody else's stuff and try to understand what all these other folks are saying and how they're saying it. And you'll realize, oh, yeah, Bruce talked about that. And he, well, he talked about that in a whole different, easier way than this. You'll find out that there are a lot of complicated um, self-help things out there that you at the beginning, you try to understand that at the beginning, you will be blown out of the water. Uh, I can't tell you how many people have given up trying to become an option writer because they thought, well, I don't need to buy Bruce's classes. I'll just figure this out myself. And they go out there and watch all these other tubers and these posters and, and these vloggers and bloggers and everything else. And they see words and hear expressions that they don't know what this means. And one guy uses it in one way. One guy uses this term in another way. And now you're really confused what the hell is going on. It isn't that complicated, actually. 
I try to break it down into the simplest terms inside the classes themselves and here on the air. But you got to give yourself a chance to make it happen. And again, those of you who are writing options, I congratulate you. You're going to get richer. I have to continually apologize to my viewers because your lifestyle is going to change dramatically over the next several years as you become larger and larger and more successful in the option writing business. And you're going to have tax problems. You're going to hire tax advisors to help you with tax problems. But those are the kind of problems everybody should have rather than I can't, I can't even make enough money to pay taxes. You want to have tax problems. Uh, you want to have problems where I have more money than I need to live on now. What do I do with it? Uh, those are the problems I want you to start entering. And uh, there are other advisors to help you with that. Don't worry about it. It'll be fun. Welcome to the party. Welcome to the show. Thank you for being here. We're at 166 on Tesla just before we open for the day. We have three minutes to go. Larry is here. Thank you so much for all of you who are, who are uh, here. Uh, those of you who have been supporting this channel, being members uh, of this channel, I, I just cannot uh, uh, thank you enough for, for this. Uh, uh, those of you making donations to this channel through PayPal donations and, and, and uh, those of you who picked up the classes, those of you who have one-on-one -on -one consultations with me, uh, thank you. I love having those with you guys. Um, very, very good. Uh, welcome one welcome all to the party and um, like I said you're, you're 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 going to have money problems wonderful wonderful money problems are coming your way um, and so you know we'll deal with it I guess I guess we'll just have to deal with it anyway there you go uh, now somebody did something what the heck was this um, Alberto um, <laughs> Thank you, Alberto, for the uh, donation on uh, on PayPal. <laughs> uh, Uncle, you're the best. Thanks again, uh, your idiot nephew. Uh, Flint Creek soap has me smelling like a bed of flowers. Uh, anticipated profits coming today. Uh, thank you, my friend, for your donation. <laughs> I, I wish I had 100 Albertos. Uh, that <laughs> that's awesome. <coughs> I can't wait for the day I meet this guy. Uh, that's going to be great. Fantastic, everybody. Welcome to the party, pals. Uh, we're two minutes away from opening for the day. Subscribe to this channel. Become a member of this channel. Do what Bama Babe is doing. 25 months she has been a member of this channel. Uh, Gold Bagel Level, been here a long time. Bama Babe, thank you for announcing that through that banner. That big, beautiful green banner. Richard Carnot, I've been a member for 25 months. Gold bagel level member. Man, you guys are awesome. Thank you for the uh, continued support uh, from all of you out there. Uh, it just means the world to Jennifer and I. Uh, it, it is really cool stuff. 139 thumbs ups have come in. We start trading in a minute. So if you can hit that thumbs up button, give us some more momentum. That would be much appreciated uh, from you. Thank you so very, very much. 100 birdies, there can only be one. There can only be one. We can't have 100 of those. Oh, man, uh, this is good stuff. Uh, thank you, guys. Uh, <laughs> fun times. Fun, fun times. Uh, thank you, uh, Alberto. George, bingo, easily 100% in 10 months. Uh, right on. Oh, my gosh. And uh, George, Sebastian, you can double your investments in a year selling options conservatively. Uh, what do you do with, what, what do you do, uh, call 10% yearly on index funds? Uh, what is that? Uh, right on. Thumbs ups from England. Uh, Uncle Bruce, thank you, Bagel Babe. Uh, thank you all for, for popping in. Uh, Alberto, uh, Flint Creek, I absolutely love your products. Trying the shampoo and conditioner, I will smell like a bed of flowers laughing out loud. <laughs> That's great stuff. Thank you, everybody, for your support, and um, and let's make some dough, okay? We're up and running. The markets, I think, are open. Thank you, Larry Titus, uh, for, for, for hitting the bells. Um, he was saying hi, everybody, a few minutes ago. And there he is. The bells have been rung by Larry, our man. And uh, thank you, pal, for being there for us as we begin the, the trek of another day on the the, the journey continues uh, down the option writing highway. And, uh, well, let's just see how you guys do today. I'm, I'm excited for you guys. Uh, just pumped up. Um, the last I saw on Tesla, 165.40. So that's a $15 drop from last night's close. It's got to tell me 
that any of you out there with $220 contracts, 215s, 210s, 205s, 200s, and all the way down, you are all noticing your call options have dropped dramatically in value. And I congratulate you on that. Uh, some of you might be in a position to decide to buy back some calls this morning and walk in some nice profits. Beautiful job. And uh, you'll take a look at perhaps writing additional contracts as the, uh, the next hour goes by. Fantastic, I say. Well done, one and, one and all. Anyway, there it is. Um, uh, what else is going on here? Uh, 16 months with uh, uh, 16 months uh, uh, GB with Uncle Bruce. Good stuff. Um, we have, yes, Zeta State, 16 months. I've been a gold bagel person for 16 months, says Zeta State. Thank you, my friend. DQ, member for 25 months. Been following Bama Babe around like a puppy for 25 months. That's why she's laughing so hard. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Bama Babe, Richard, DQ, Zeta State, and all of you out there who are followers of this channel and members of this channel. I cannot thank you. I can't thank you enough. I want to thank you enough, but I, I can't. It's impossible. Uh, thank you all so much for being a followers, you, members of this YouTube channel, the best members YouTube, any YouTube channel can have. Uh, it is it is absolutely wonderful. Thank you. Uh, very humbling, to say the least. All right, there you go. Uh, we're heading over now to member-only comment. Please become a member ASAP. Join this gang of regulars and um, learn how to make money writing options with these guys. Um, yeah, they're doing it. Uh, there's a reason they're here for 25 months. There's a pretty darn good reason they're here. Um, yeah, uh, fantastic call. So, so wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. All right, uh, there you go. Uh, we are now at um, 144 thumbs ups and counting. Uh, thank you. Uh, keep those coming in. Uh, Touchgrass says membership is worth it. Thank you uh, for that comment. Uh, absolutely uh, love these. Uh, and um, there we are. I, I <laughs> membership is worth it. Thank you, Touchgrass, and, and all of you who are members. Uh, as I try to read these comments and keep an eye on the market at the same time, easier said than done. All right, uh, we've got the Dow down 167 so far this morning. Um, we got S and P off 30 points. We got Nasdaq down 112. The percentage losses, um, the Dow's only off 0.45 of a percentage point. We're not even half a point. Um, S and P is down three quarters of a percent. Nasdaq 0.93 of a percentage point at the moment. We've got uh, uh, we've got oil down 161 a barrel now at $77.55. So about a four or five dollar drop from the highs of last week to here now under 80 and still falling. And uh, we'll watch that. More and more talk, of course, of uh, slowdown in the U.S. economy uh, continues to uh, to keep coming up. And uh, this is uh, you know not just for the U.S., but the world economy as a whole. And so we'll be watching uh, how the world economies perform going through here. Um, Tesla shares are definitely leading the downward trend right now. 15.19 a share on the downside, 165.40, pardon me, 165.40 uh, was the low or, or around the low, and we're at 167.30 right now. There will be volatility here all day long. Um, SoFi is down seven cents at six oh one. GameStop down nineteen to twenty one twelve. Um, we've got uh, let's see anything else crazy going on here? Uh, not actually a lot. Uh, Apple down seventy three cents. Goldman down twenty. Cisco down fifty five. Um, Arc Innovations down seventy four. Microsoft down two twenty six. Um, we've got Bed Bath Beyond down eight and a quarter cents at thirty eight point one on seven point seven million. Now eight million shares. Pfizer is down a dime, uh, HBQ down 47 cents, uh, Carvana down 29, Google is up 39 cents, make it 54 on the upside, Amazon down 15, Nvidia down 206, and Unity down 42. Um, other stocks, uh, let's see here, SoFi down 7, uh, AI is down 6 cents today, Apple down 73 as I said. First Republic Bank down 45 cents, uh, Moderna down $1.05 to 141.77. 
Uh, Cisco down 58. Uh, IBM up 230. Uh, Microsoft down 211 to 286 now. ME up a half a penny. Matterport down two cents. Rocket Lab down a nickel. Smart Rent down two. Spire down six tenths of a cent. Amazon down 32. Home Depot up nine. Netflix down 278 to 320 now. Uh, Vanek Semiconductors down 38 cents. Adobe down 343. Goldman down 33 cents. Boeing down 150. Facebook Meta down 220. Uh, Royal Caribbean down 89 cents to 63.58. Um, Target down 157. JP Morgan down 18. Costco is up 153. Walmart down six cents. Disney down 99 cents to 97.76. Nvidia down 241. And American Airlines down 15 cents to 13 dollars 48 cents. At the moment, that is where we're at on the uh, on the, some of our favorites that we follow, and some of the trend-setting stocks out there that we watch for direction as to where this market is actually headed. One fifty-five point drop on the Dow now, uh, twenty-six on S and P, eighty-eight on on Nasdaq. To the opening minutes is where we're at right now. Everybody, thank you for for popping in and seeing us. Uh, One sixty-eight oh eight on Tesla. That's the best level, kind of, of the day um, at the moment. Uh, still down 12.50 a share, 6.9%. We could easily go into the 150s today. We could go to the 170s, certainly. The stock is capable of any kind of move like that, but there is downward pressure on the stock. No question about it. No question. Uh, thank you, Andre, um, for becoming a Patreon follower. Um, Appreciate that. Uh, I have a Patreon site, and uh, Andre is on that site. Uh, thank you very much. I don't do anything on it. It's just an area where people can go to make donations, and I appreciate anyone who goes to Patreon and, and does it. I, I have no time to add anything to there, although I get emails all the time from Patreon asking me, why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? Why don't you do this? And I think, why don't you give me another 10 hours in my day? Why don't you give me 10 more hours? Um, why don't you make me 25 so I have the energy of a 25-year-old and I can do all that stuff? Oh, my gosh. Uh, let's see. What else is going on? Uh, 147 thumbs ups. Thank you very, very much uh, for this. Uh, we're well on our way to 200 here uh, in the morning. I appreciate it. Uh, and uh, there we go. Um, here we go. George Sebastian, my GameStop, 1750s. For May the 19th, they're only 9% away from going green finally. So down goes the stock, and your contracts are coming your direction. There you have it. GameStop right now down a dime, 21 21 at the moment. Um, and uh, a dude, a Gold Bagel member for seven months, five days, all but one class has been taken. I got one to go, and I got them all. Beautiful. Deuce Caboose, uh, Spire linked another, uh, inked another deal. Seems like every few days they get a new deal, I asked. Their investor relations, why they don't disclose the amount, and they said the customer doesn't want them to. I find that to be kind of odd. It's a publicly traded company. It should be publicly traded information. That's my thing. I think the SEC should make the customer and the entity reveal the dollar amounts. After all, publicly sh publicly held shareholders deserve to know how their companies are doing. They are the owners yeah, I, I don't I don't buy that excuse. Cindy, good morning. I bought back my Tesla calls for um, fourteen cents and um, ten cents. Um, I think Cindy wrote these for five dollars something, and I think there were three of them. Am I? I can't remember exactly, Cindy. I know you were making money, uh, and I uh, congratulate you. Well done. Um, you certainly want to take that action, no question. When they hand it to you like this, uh, you take it. Um, 167.84 on Tesla, down 12 odd dollars. Boris says, hey, Boris, it's me. Uh, uh, but I can't update the payment terms to get the five classes. We'll drop you an email once I get this done. Um, uh, okay, you can always, you can always, uh, it's me on Patreon. Oh, I see. Okay. Ah, I see. Okay, okay. All right. Send me a private email. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Don't worry. I'll get you. We'll get you looked after. Fantastic, everybody. Thank you all uh, for being here and, uh, and seeing me. Uh, appreciate it. Nick DeMaurier, uh, $5, uh, five dollars minus 10 cents is, um, well, that's pretty good. Uh, you know, you got you got $500 when you sold the call, and then you paid $10 to buy the call back. So 500 take away 10 is about 490 something like that around 490 dollars and um you get to keep it um 
well, that's that's pretty good then. Um, to quote a an actor on uh, on uh, a movie when he was talking to Julia Roberts. So what it is? What is it that you do? You're an actress. Oh, what kind of acting do you do? Film. Oh, you, you're a film actress. Oh, oh uh, some, the pay the pay can be scandalous. Uh, well, how much? How much? How much money did you get paid when you made the last movie you made? Fifteen million dollars. Well, that's uh, that's pretty good then. <laughs> Love that movie. <laughs> Think I can remember the name of that movie right now? Notting Hill. Notting Hill. Love that movie. Well, that's 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 pretty good then. Um, yeah, I would say that if you sell a call for five dollars and you buy it back for ten cents. I, I would say that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, I I, I, I I love it when I have lots of viewers who do that. Um, I really like that. I, I just uh, just bought back my Tesla for pennies, says Zed Estate. My cost on the 100 shares is 135 a share. Now, what option will work now? What should I do now to write some contracts? You're 168.12 right now. So, uh, you know, uh, take a look at the option chain and... You know, maybe you want to write a call for next Friday. Uh, maybe you want to write 180s, uh, 175s. Uh, but then again, you might want to go to a month. Maybe go to a month and a half, two months, and write 175s, 180s, and take some serious money off the table. Uh, not pennies, dollars, many, many dollars. It's time. Time to be paid. Uh, who cares? Stinkbit is in for my IBM cover calls. They expire tomorrow. I sold for 195 and I'm going to get them for about 25 cents. So uh, I guess you're going to make like a dollar seventy a contract, $170 a contract. That's uh, pretty good, um, you know, uh, for holding the stock. Uh, it's not bad. I, I'm loving this. I love it, says who cares. Uh, George, that's called winning. That is correct. Um, that is what is done here <clears throat> on this channel. Um Generally speaking, that's how we do this, uh, how it's done here by these viewers. Um, make sure you grab the classes, understand how this works, understand the nuances of doing this, and then you're going to learn which option to write, when to write it, what to write it for, what to buy it back for, when, and then write a new one and keep making money. It's uh, it's just rinse and repeat all the time. Hey, Auntie Jen, how are you? Tesla 168. Yeah, down 1250. Oops, uh, we were down to 165 this morning already. Cindy, Cindy said something this morning. I, I want to get your reaction to this. Okay. okay. Is this good? Okay. Okay. I want to know, is this good? Um, Cindy wrote some call options on Tesla that die tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, she received over $5 a contract. I, I think she said $5.75. Um, she bought them back $0.10 cents and $0.14. Cents. <laughs> is that good that's a good one you remember the that's movie good. you remember the movie notting hill where where the uh, stockbroker guy asks julia oh, yeah. roberts well how much money do you make doing uh, doing a film how much do you get paid when you make it and she's uh 15 million dollars oh, oh, oh and that's that, that's good that's pretty good then that's, good. Well, that's pretty good then. i i think cindy that's is good. in this uh, in the, uh, uh, in the julia good. roberts neighborhood today she's in the <laughs> I, pretty good I wrote calls for five hundred and seventy-five dollars and bought them back for ten dollars. So that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good then. <laughs> we like it. We like it a lot. Howdy to you all from Splare. Yeah. Good morning, uh, Jen from Larry Titus. Deuce Caboose Spires authorized Larry. one billion shares to issue as of twelve thirty-one twenty-two. One hundred forty million outstanding. Mandu number five. Good morning, Auntie good Jen. Morning. John Anderson. Yeah. Hello, Jen. Double D. If if it wasn't for the job. classes, I might not have had the seventy dollars to buy BBBY that I'm already up on. Uh, JR is here. Hey, Auntie Jen. Good morning. I hope the good family morning, is doing JR. well. The family is doing well. They're, isn't the they're, still they're still asleep. Uh, they're doing just fine. But they were they were delighted when uh, when they so when you land here, you come out and you go. You come down the escalator and then you come out into where the people are waiting for you. The outside, waiting for the cars to you pick you up. You come through these large revolving doors is kind of when people first see you. And so I spotted her and I started jumping up and down because I can do that. She can jump up and down now on her new hip. <laughs> and so that got Jen Jr. jumping up and down. <laughs> My mommy's jumping up and down. She used to be only able to walk with a cane. Now she's jumping up and down. And now I just like 
get up from the table, go get something, come back. <laughs> Just get up, go get it, come back. Don't be deal. It's a miracle. <laughs> yes. Jen Jr. is doing great, and they're both happy to be here. And they, they, left, they it was we, snowing. We were sitting outside last evening as the sun set. We watched the stars start to appear. Watched and the they couldn't, out. they can't believe the fact that it's dark out and they're still warm. Uh, they really they, like they that really part. Like they that. really like that part. I know. I, I'm the same way. Love it. Yeah. Credit Savage. Oh, boy. Um, uh, th it's treacherous with Tesla right now. Just sold my 10 $175 puts for $975 each. I'm not on the high on that, but definitely not the low. I bought them for $241 uh, yesterday on the stink bid. Uh, did I do okay? <laughs> um, okay, so uh, you sold them for $975. That's, uh, that's, I think, 10 of those. So that's $9,750. He sold them for, okay. but he bought them for twenty four hundred and ten dollars. So oh. he clears seven thousand three hundred and forty dollars in one day. There you go. I, I guess that's, that's that's Julia Roberts. That's maybe. pretty good then. That's it's pretty good. You know, that, that'll be our new bar. That's Julia Is Roberts Julia money. Roberts that's money? Julia Roberts money right there. Uh, Beach Boy, <laughs> hi Jen. How's Jen Junior? Hi Jen. DQ. Beach Boy, uh, Jen Junior's Great. She's great. She's Bought great. back Tesla 200s that expired tomorrow. I sold them for 11.36. Says the DQ. Bought them back for a nickel. So that's pretty good then. That's 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 pretty Julia good. Julia Roberts. Money. That's more Julia Roberts money right there. Uh, clearing 1100. George clearing 1131 dollars <laughs> on a contract. I, I don't know how many you you wrote, but uh, I, I think he wrote more than one. Um, That'll keep them up. Near those boxes. Yeah, DQ will be able to keep affording those Steeler tickets uh, going forward. Uh, that's good news. Uh, we signed a new receiver that played for the Rams. That um, Steeler knows. His his first few years were really good. Steeler knows. And I'm not sure what happened, but the Rams are paying twice as much for his salary this year that the Steelers are. Ooh. So. Either he Ooh. said something. He must have said something. Uh, uh, DQ says, I, "Just call me DQ Roberts." Um, he says. He then says, "I wrote many." Uh, there oh, you go. Good. I wrote good. many. There you go. Yeah. Maybe DQ not only can get us in there, but he might buy you a beer. Uh -huh. He might be able to afford to buy you a beer. And a, and a, a stadium beer. A stadium beer. <laughs> Then again, you guys might get drunk at Bettis's place before you get in there. You'll be out of control before you even get into the damn place. I'm done for the day. Gonna change some diapers and make breakfast now. Yay! Oh. Says Chris. I made my seven thousand dollars today. I gotta go change oh, diapers. Oh, I got seven thousand dollars today. I gotta go yeah. change some diapers. Those kids um, are gonna go. Oh, Why are mom and dad smiling all the time? Not home skill of nice trades, you guys. Kiwi number 52. I think Credit Savage is going to be uh, picking up some classes now uh, oh. because Credit Savage mentioned something about three classes that he needs to get his hands on. And if, to, he, makes enough, if he makes enough dough on those puts, he's going to pick up some classes to That's round out his smart. collection. BW, hey, Uncle Bruce and Jen, I, um, I something a while out on vacation. U C K E R E D. What does that mean? Euchred? I don't know, Spire, uh, Invest Relations Department, did you ever see my email about the comms with their IR person and they're willing to take some questions after mentioning your show? I did. I did, and I, I thank you. Uh, I haven't done anything about this yet. Credit to Savage. Uh, I'm a much shorter and balder Julia Roberts, though. I definitely have better breath, though. <laughs> Marcus, number 153, thumbs up. DQ, Auntie Jen jinx, drinks for free when she's with me. Oh, yeah. Oh, dear. Bettis' place is closed. Uh, it's not open anymore. Mm. Oh, see, see how they forget about you after you put the uniform away, or oh. you're not a good, or you didn't run their business very well. You don't know Steeler Nation <laughs> thinking they'll forget about it. Well, the place the is closed. Bus. Maybe the manager wasn't a good manager over there. I don't know. I don't know. I, I have a bartender oh, at the cold. stadium. I have a bartender at the stadium. Oh, right on Deuce Caboose. Um, uh, ben is a solid dude. Um, um alberto you already know just bought back 21 tesla cover called nice job oh. there, there's there's another julia roberts money maker right there uh well done my friend and thank you and thank you for the donation today let me show jen what happened this morning oh, um we don't we don't say anything alberto, what are you we don't we don't say the amount but there's oh, the, my yeah that's pretty you cool. did okay we, we call that you know what we call that donation 
a Julia Roberts type donation. That's, good, yeah. That's a Julia Roberts donation. And and there, oh. I'm dropping my coffee. My coffee. I'm so excited. I can't handle it. Oh, it's so great. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, uh, the well, we're all excited. Our daughter's here. The boyfriend's here. Tesla's dropping. People are scoring on Weather's their Tesla great. calls. Tesla's great. Making Pools donations calling. to Uncle Bruce. I mean, it's all just happening. Uh, we're happy, happy, happy. Uh, Credit Savage, yeah. Uncle Bruce's memory is like a vice <laughs> trap. How does he do that? <laughs> this is Credit Bye, Savage. Andy, Goodbye, Auntie Jen. <laughs> Have a good one. <laughs> Uh, well, you said it. I, I, you, 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 you were the one who mentioned it. So I, I, I thank you. Thank you for your support. Uh, Square, imagine someone asks you, what have you done today? And he answered, oh, well, you know, I made enough money for a month before I had to change diapers. That's the spirit. That, that's called. I made Julia Roberts money this morning, and then I had to change the diapers for the kids. Uh, that's uh, that's how I. How did you do? Um, well, I got up at 6 a.m., and I had some cold cereal, and I took a bus to uh, to a subway station and then I took a subway into town and then I walked three blocks in, to work and then my boss gave me crap for not giving enough effort and uh, they told me that uh, the raise I asked for had been denied and uh, uh, sorry well how are you doing again uh, well, I'm making Julia Roberts money and I'm changing diapers at home um, what um, huh uh, yeah uh, there you go there's there's what life would you like? Um, uh, would you like the life of, uh, I just bought some calls back for a nickel that I wrote for uh, $8 a piece or $13 a piece the other day. Um, yeah, um, option writers make money. Um, that's all there is to it. And now all these option buyers who've been buying back their contracts now have to do something else. Well, which contracts do I write now? Because I want to write new calls and I want to bring in a boatload of additional cash Hmm, what should I, which one should I write now? Because uh, I can bring in thousands of dollars today into my account. Additionally, um, what can I say? Breaking news, SpaceX Starship rocket exploded shortly after takeoff uh, today, apparently. Um, is that right? Uh, really? Yikes. Uh, is that the word I'm looking for? Is that, is that the word? Y yikes. Um, I don't know. Um, I'm just looking at uh, looking at uh, looking at whatever. Uh, there might be headlines out there. So, anybody knows about that? Uh, let me in on it. Uh, maybe it's uh, maybe it's in Market Watch's uh, front page. I don't know. Uh, interesting. Um, or is that a fake uh, headline? Um, and that could be it. No. Uh, there is a there is a headline in Barron's. A Starship Elon Musk's um, blew up. Um, uh, investors should end up wanting a piece of privately held aerial giant sooner than they might expect. Second attempt, uh, do scrub with scrub. So apparently it, it blew up. Um, I'm sure there will be YouTube videos like crazy, uh, to be able to be watched, uh, shortly, uh, all about it. So a spectacular show, I suspect. Anyway, there you go. Uh, in the meantime, Tesla's 167.25 down 13.34, and folks are making money on the options. What can I say? Uh, we've got uh, um, the Dow down 168. We have uh, S and P down 24. Nasdaq down 62. Oil down 165 at 77.51. Uh, we've got uh, uh, ATIP um, um, uh, down a, a half a penny. Sextera down 0.6 of a cent. Uh, Bed Bath Beyond down 10 cents at 35.7 cents now on a volume today of 69 million. Wow. We got uh, we got AI up 11, Unity down 27, GameStop down 12 cents, uh, SoFi down 11 at 5.98, Tesla of 1347 lower, uh, Apple down 54 cents, HBQ down 43, First Republic down 22 cents, Google up 57, Moderna down is up 32, Cisco down 87 cents, Pfizer down 15 to 40.09, IBM up 29 cents. We got Microsoft uh, down 157 to 286.88. ME uh, down a penny. Matterport up a half a penny. Rocket Lab down six cents. Smart Rent down two. Spire down a penny. Amazon up 73. Home Depot up 73. Netflix down one, two, three, a dollar twenty-three. Vanek uh, up one sixty-eight. Adobe down one eighty-seven. Goldman uh, down forty-one. Boeing down thirty-five cents. Meta down ninety-three cents at 
the moment. Uh, that is where we're at right now. Um, 189 drop on the Dow Jones with Tesla at uh, at uh, at uh, the low, low price of 166.71 as we speak. That's what's going on, and I'm sticking to it. Uh, welcome all to the party. Um, nice to have you here. Um, uh, uh, IBM update from who cares? I bought back at 25 cents, but if I had waited longer, I could have had them for 10 to 15 cents or five cents. Lesson learned. Need to be stinkier next time. On the other hand, write a new contract immediately. Get a new contract written now uh, and bring in fresh dollars, not pennies, dollars, and uh, keep earning money. Let's go. DH, yeah, it launched when the market opened. Amandu SpaceX giant rocket fails minutes after launching from Texas. Zed Estate. AJ, I have a great problem. Should I write on a Tesla that expires quickly or go further out in dollars? I love first world problems. I did mention that already. I can't wait until it starts for me that I travel with my pets and make more money than when I stay home and work for somebody else. Zeta State, DQ, I did the same but only did one. DQ, congrats, Zeta State, on making money here. Uh, way to go, everybody. 198 drop on the Dow, uh, 26 on S&P, 70 on NASDAQ. All three markets are about the same now, 0.58 to 0.65 of a percentage point loss at the moment. They're all even with each other. Uh, oil down 167 a barrel to 77.40. Now 77.42 down 174. Oil dropping again. That is what is going on. 167.07, 167.13 on Tesla down 13.46 on GameStop. 21.22 down 8 cents. At the moment, a credit service. I just bought five more puts on Tesla for two dollars. They expire tomorrow. That launch explosion is going to put more downward pressure on Tesla. Well, we'll, we'll see. I don't know. Zeta State, uh, smiling, smiling, smiling. There you go. Tesla right now, 167.82 down 12.77. The low of the day, 165.01. The high, 168 something. What was the high today? 169.55 is a high. 167.40 right now is where we're at at the moment. That's kind of halfway between the low and the high of the day right now so far. All right? Fun times, everybody. Uh, lots to watch, lots to follow. Thank you all for being uh, followers of the show today. 157 thumbs ups. Thank you for these thumbs ups, everybody. So much appreciate that. Thank you, BW, uh, for being a member for 25 months. Uh, the, the bulletin says here, the big green bar says, Jen, Thank you for letting us have him daily. He is truly changing lives. Thank you so very much. I will let her know that. Uh, thank you for those kind words, everybody. Uh, and, and again, just welcome to the channel. Welcome to the uh, group here. The uh, the best YouTubers out there. You're part of the part of a great family here. Um, home skillet SpaceX said uh, Starship experienced a rapid unscheduled disassembly. <laughs> Yeah, that's known as an explosion. Um, uh, Nick, uh, Starship didn't blow up. It, it, it only experienced a rapid, unscheduled disassembly, according to SpaceX. It, it didn't blow up. Oh, no. It, it, just, it just like the screws came out really quick, and the structures kind of one moved, and then we disassembled it, and it just kind of scattered up into the air. All those flames and and all that, all that the smoke and stuff. That's just fireworks. We're we're just we're just putting on a show. It's it didn't blow up. No, I don't know. It was a it was a very uh, rapid, unscheduled disassembly. That's what it was. We want to show how fast we can uh, separate the stages from each other in in a real hurry. That's what we're doing. Ah, this this is all news to me. Um, very interesting. Um, how confident are you? If you're announced as the first crew to go to the moon on top of this rocket, uh, how do you how do you feel about that? Um, well, um, really, uh, hmm, gee, uh, could I be the second crew to go up? Uh, maybe the third crew uh, after three successful launches. Uh, I don't know. Manager number one fifty eight. Thank you, sir. Uh, home skill at high tech cloud seeding. There you go. Yeah, very very high cloud seeding indeed. Wow, the launch was awesome. Such touchdown. The launch was great. Oh, that was oh, what a show. It took off from the pad. Oh, that was cool. The rest of it did quite it wasn't so spectacular, uh, but it was pretty cool at the beginning. I gotta say, um, yeah. 
the landing quite wasn't quite what we had hoped for. Um, how about that? Um, yes, I guess it didn't return near the pad, you know, that it launched from. Didn't quite do that. Uh, yeah, uh, you remember the Columbia incident? That was shocking. Uh, man, dude, number five, laughing out loud, touch grass, landing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yikes. Uh, yeah, what can we say? Uh, not a lot. I can't can't really say much. Uh, unbelievable. Boy, oh boy. Um, yeah, uh, just, just, uh, just, whoa, unbelievable. Uh, uh, Anton, thank you. Um, PayPal has experienced a rapid donation. Uh, P.S. Thank you for everything you do and for uh, ranting almost every day for the past two years. Thank you, Anton, for the donation. I appreciate that, my friend. Uh, very nice of you. Uh, make money, buddy. Make money. Um, <laughs> uh, absolutely fabulous. Uh, and again, thank you, uh, Andre. I will get you looked after later. We'll talk uh, afterwards. We'll figure you out uh, uh, with that on Patreon. Uh, thank you, kids, for being here this morning. Uh, we have 159 thumbs ups and counting. 41 away from 200. Uh, that is pretty cool stuff. Thanks, everybody. Uh, those of you who uh, hit the thumbs up button for us uh, i cannot thank you enough for the support uh a very very kind of all of you thank you um just uh, double checking something here if, if my plea uh, worked out or not um not sure where are we here yes uh thank you those of you who uh went to my show yesterday and hit the thumbs up button we have 201 thumbs ups on yesterday's show Thank you very much. We've done it again. 200 thumbs ups uh, have been hit another time uh, on our morning shows. And on this morning's show, we're coming in uh, closer and closer. 160 now are here. We need 40 more. Thank you, guys. Fab you, Liz. All right. Um, Brian, I'm number, one, I'm number 158. Manager, so where was that rocket assembled? That way, man, do we can't reuse that one. Um, as Smoke Dog, uh, time for Rocket Lab to step in here. Testy Donkey. The Tesla 190 call I sold yesterday for $420. Um, I just bought back for $6. That's, that's pretty good then. Uh, that, that to me sounds like another Julia Roberts money-making type trade. Uh, brought in $420, paid $6, and you keep the change. I like this game. Um, I would say Testy Donkey likes this game a lot. Uh, this is a, a pretty good. This is pretty pretty good then. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty good game. Uh, yeah, not not bad. Um, Julia Roberts money. That's okay. Um, well done, everyone out there. Um, keep up the good work. Just just keep it up. Uh, beautiful. One sixty seven forty nine. Last trade on 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 Tesla. Uh, the Dow right now is uh, down one hundred eighty five points. Uh, S&P is down 24, NASDAQ down 58. All the indexes are down a little over a half a percent right now, approximately, as we speak. Um, and uh, uh, the headline just coming out here, deep, lingering, persistent skepticism over China's growth potential is keeping global financial markets from embracing its reopening. That's kind of like Tesla talking about a rapid, de de uh, you know, a rapid, disassembly process going on on their rocket as it explodes it's kind of like with china like we don't trust those bastards uh we don't trust a single word they say we don't trust their financials we don't like the fact that they arrest ceos in the middle of the night from their homes and we don't know where they are for months uh people disappear off the streets because they are not happy with the government policy i think there are people saying to china yeah we're not we're not um we're not fans of how you operate over there. And so forgive us if we don't uh, buy in to your propaganda that everything is great in China and we should buy your stocks. Uh, don't mind us. Uh, maybe we'll buy stocks elsewhere um, and not quite buy into your bullshit. Um, just saying. I'm just saying that that's probably what people are thinking. I, I'm not guessing. I, I guess I'm just trying to explain things in plain english uh try to take the fluff out of there and get get to the get to the meat of the matter uh we just don't trust you guys uh maybe that's uh, that's um yeah that's maybe that's it that yeah okay hmm, so that's that's not good then you know that's not very good yeah oh okay all right i, I just want to make sure I'm, I'm on the right page here 
uh, I, I hate missing the subtleties of things. You know, I really hate missing that part. Welcome everybody to the uh, to the show. Uh, GameStop down just a nickel, twenty one twenty six. Uh, the low today, twenty eighty one. That was the opening. Two hundred twelve thousand volume. Nothing burger today on GameStop. Um, uh, SoFi five ninety five down thirteen cents here on a volume of two point eight million. A nothing burger in volume today. <clears throat> so far, very quiet. It could be that we have a turnaround later on SoFi. I just don't know, but it's possible. Uh, we'll have to wait and see for that. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, there's the latest. Uh, congrats, everybody, on your Tesla contract. So well done, everybody. Enjoy those profits. Uh, indeed. Uh, indeed. Yeah, cool bean stuff. Uh, what else is going on? I, I don't know. Uh, we're watching... Uh, you know, a number of things happening at the same time. Uh, thank you all of you for popping in from around the world to join us this morning. 162 thumbs ups are in the house. I thank you. Um, comment here from uh, from uh, someone else here. Hang on. Who's now commenting here? Uh, JR, Uncle Bruce, um, in my first foray into the world of, of Tesla, I sold five May uh, 12th uh, uh, contracts. For twelve dollars and ninety cents each, I bought them back for two oh nine. That seems pretty pretty good to me. Um, good enough to close and buy some more Tesla. We, uh, yeah, I would say that's that's Julia Roberts money. Um, five contracts for twelve hundred ninety dollars a piece, bringing in about sixty. What is that? Sixty five hundred dollars almost, bringing in sixty five hundred. Twelve hundred ninety contract times five contracts. Uh, and then buying them back for a thousand and forty-five dollars, and keeping the remaining fifty-five odd hundred. I, I that that's pretty good. That's that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, I'd say that works out. Uh, Splayer, anyone had already experience with um, uh, people uh, people per hour? Offered myself there yesterday as a translator for German, English, and Polish. I've already five new offers for a project. How about that? Wait, wait to go there, Splayer. Get top dollar. Get top dollar for your for your skills. Why not? Uh, the Dow is off one forty seven. It's not quite as bad. Uh, AI is up seventy one cents. By the way, um, Unity down twenty two. GameStop down uh, six cents. SoFi down a dime. Tesla down twelve seventy seven. Apple uh, is up uh, is down fifty eight cents now. Um, uh, HPQ down forty one, and, and and First Republic down thirty three. Uh, uh, Boris, Uncle Bruce, I'm sorry for spamming on, on Patreon here, but my card isn't accepted. I will try again in a few days. Um, fair enough. Uh, you can always uh, uh, just send me a private email. Tell me what you want to do, and we'll, we'll try to figure it out. Um, no no big deal. It's all good. Uh, what else is happening here? Um, uh, yeah, we're down 21, 22 on S&P. We're down 48 now on uh, NASDAQ. Uh, oil down 166 to $77.50 right now. Oh boy, uh, home skill. Uh, First Republic earnings are next Monday. Um, any thoughts on uh, the SP direction? The premiums are juicy. No idea. I don't know what the stock price is going to do, uh, but I would grab premiums. I would write out of the money calls, fat premiums, uh, but give yourself a little bit of time and that way you have room to maneuver. So there you go. Um, but I would be taking money off the table for sure. I'd be taking money off the table. They're handing it to you. You want it, uh, definitely. Um, nothing wrong with any of that action. 162 down dip on the Dow. We will be volatile today and tomorrow because tomorrow is the third Friday of the month. And there will be volatility here going forward, folks. So we'll watch for that. Uh, thank you all for, uh, for popping in. Uh, we have now got 163 thumbs ups. We have a good crowd watching today. 175 are here. Welcome. Hope you're making money today on the uh, markets. Um, congratulations to those of you uh, cashing in on your Tesla calls. Um, they've been handing you money all morning. Um, and uh, get ready to write new calls. Uh, fantastic. 167, 168 on the stock right now. Trying a little partial recovery here. See what it's got. Some of you might want to write 175s, 180s. Uh, Depending on the premiums, uh, you'll you'll look for that. Um, you'll figure out uh, which which works for you. Um, if you want to write July uh, contracts or September contracts, let me take a look here. September one um, eighties will bring you thirty nine dollars and eighty five cents. <laughs> wow, 
Out of the money by 12 bucks, and you can haul in almost $40 in premiums. So you're you're offering your stock at $220 a share. Um, is there a problem with that? Uh, any of you out there have deep in the money calls? Uh, if you have like uh, 80 deep in the money calls that are worth right now 90 bucks each, and you get taken out at $220, uh, would you have a problem with your $80 calls being worth in the money now with a 220 stock? Your calls will be worth $140. Is that $160? Nothing wrong with that, I would say. Uh, plus, the contracts are worthless. You get to keep the $40. Uh, that's cool. Uh, that's uh, that's pretty good. That that's pretty good then, isn't it? Yeah, that that would be that would be Julia Roberts money. Uh, that'd be that'd be pretty good. Uh, yeah. Um, cool. Uh, yeah, I like this game. Uh, June contracts, June 2024 uh, 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 Tesla contracts. You want to write 180s for June? You'll only get $36. <laughs> that's not too bad uh that's that's pretty good then uh yeah i, I would say they're down 960 today uh, by the way uh because of the stock losing value it's not interesting how this uh, how these run like that um that, that's 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 pre pretty good um january 2025 contracts um i know a guy that has um i think 200s or 210s uh, the 210s are down 850 right now. Um, the 200s are down nine dollars today. They're in the 34 to 38 dollar neighborhood. So that that's uh, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, that's not bad. Uh, getting better all the time, I think, uh, is where we kind of go with that. Yeah, uh, let's uh, keep enjoying this. Uh, yes, Boris, any thoughts on UNG United States Natural Gas Fund? Is it worth writing or buying? I don't know anything about it. I know absolutely. I've never heard of it before, so I don't know. Trading at six ninety five U.S. dollars at the moment. I have no idea who they are, what they do. Um, nothing. I got. I got zip. Um, so I would probably recommend. Again, I. If you know them, you know them. I don't know them, and so uh, too low a stock to write options on. I, I would be wanting to write options on more expensive paper for more premium money. So pick up uh, deep in the money calls on something that trades at a higher price and make more dinero. Um, that's probably where I would recommend you go on that. Interesting. Uh, you know, I'm just looking back at these January 2025s. If you wanted to write 180s, you'd get about $45 a contract. So you could buy back two tens for 35 and then write 180s for 45. Or you could write 175s for 47. That's interesting. Uh, but not it's not necessary, but it's interesting. Uh, yeah, January 25, 2025 calls. Wow. Tesla, premiums all over the place on Tesla. Wow. What a what a run we're uh, watching here. 167.70 now, last trade um, on the stock, um, down 1301. And um, uh, U.S. leading economic indicators are signaling a mid-year recession. That's the conference board uh, saying that. Um, existing U.S. existing home prices in March register sharpest annual decline since 2012. So prices are dropping dramatically on uh, U.S. existing home sales. Very, very interesting uh, info there. Isn't that something? Uh, what, 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 what do you say? What's the word on that? Uh, yikes. Uh, that's the word. Yeah, there was a word for that. Yikes. Boris, I don't know the, I don't know them either, but the premium C high relates to the price. Yeah, I, that's not an indication to me. That is not a, that's not a green signal to get in for me at all. Um, so yeah, I would be, I would be really, really careful. I, I think you'd be better off buying deep in money calls on unity or on AI. If you can get them under the 90, 10 rule and then write on those good premiums there. Um, there's something a little more there, but again, it's up to you. It's your money, but the, the trading strategies are the same, no matter what you write on. So if you've taken the classes and you're taking the classes, you're becoming more familiar with how to do option writing, no matter what the stock. But I don't know anything about these guys. So I can't, I can't be an expert there at all. Uh, okay. Um, AI is up 77 right now. Unity down 19 cents. Um, GameStop down six. SoFi down nine. It's back to six bucks a share on SoFi, by the way. That's not bad, eh? Having a bad day, and we're at six dollars a share on SoFi. We're not down to five forty on SoFi. We're at six dollars. That's better. I like it. These contracts you guys have written on SoFi, 
they're not backing off very much today, are they? Um, the stock is not giving up, even with the market being down. It's interesting how SoFi is resistant to pullbacks. Just slight drop, but nothing serious here. Uh, this is interesting to me. It's a good sign. This is a very good sign. Um, earnings are coming. Stock might run between now and then. Tesla down 12.37, 168.22. Apple down 39 cents. HPQ down 32. First Republic down 36. Google up 68. Moderna down 97. Cisco down 91. Pfizer down 12. IBM up one penny, 126.33. Microsoft 137 on the downside. Uh, ME down nine tenths of a cent. Matterport is up six and a half cents. Rocket Lab down three and a half. Smart Rent down three. Spire up four tenths of a penny uh with another new contract in their hands amazon down is up 52 cents home depot down six cents netflix up four dollars vanic up 293 adobe down 74 cents goldman uh, is up 75 cents boeing down three meta up 22 it's a mixed bag right now uh rocket lab down uh, sorry royal caribbean down uh, down 125 right now all right welcome all to the party to the show congratulations all of you option writers making money today they are handing profits over at the tesla option counter it is amazing how much money some of these folks have gotten hit with today some real hits 166 is the thumbs up meter if you like making money writing options hit the thumbs up button tell youtube how much you love making money writing options hit the thumbs up button add momentum to this show thank you all so much for helping out today Really, really appreciate it. Uh, fantastic stuff. It's all good. It's all getting gooder all the time. Uh, well done, everybody. Uh, 166 and counting on the thumbs ups. All right. Uh, manager says here, last in, first out. Um, uh, trade strategy is working out great. Rinse and repeat. Goes up short more. Goes down. Lock in the profit. Cover for the last short. Weight goes up short more. Right on, manager. Manager can afford to do that as the capital to play the game. Way to go, pal. Making money in the market. The Dow down 138 right now. Uh, we've got, uh, let's see, these other markets. Let's get an update here. Right there. Uh, we are right now down the 18 on S&P. And we're down 36 on NASDAQ. The markets are actually improving. Um, the the two, uh, S&P and NASDAQ, are definitely getting better. The Dow still down 134, but it is better than its low of the day. That much I do see. Uh, Tesla, 167.65. Is this just a slight dead cat bounce in the middle of a market, and then we go lower as the day goes on? Could happen. We'll see how that plays out. Um, thank you all. Flint Creek won't be here tomorrow. Send me the vibes to find someone to take my company to a whole new level. Thanks, guys. Uh, welcome, everybody. Um, way to go. Uh, making money out there. Tesla, 167.69, down 12.95 a share. All right, everybody. Thank you, guys. For being part of the show i love it uh, we're approaching the two-hour mark here in a little bit and i appreciate it 167 thumbs ups thank you appreciate that um let's take a look over here at headlines see what they are saying out there we got this we got this we got this um mm, 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 mm. Uh, u.s existing home prices fall nearly one percent in march the biggest drop in a decade that's the headline. Um, uh, higher rates, and they're going higher, and they're going to stay higher for a while yet. Um, uh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, we got that. Let's go over to here to see. Oops, no, let's say, let's do this over here to see that. There we go. Uh, headlines. Uh, what is up? Um, Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, okay. Um, IKEA makes biggest ever investment in the U.S. with 17 new stores. They're expanding. Walmart is shrinking. Um, 
interesting, interesting, interesting. Um, Let's see, what else is up here? Drop in transportation stocks foreshadows weakening economy, says the headline in the Wall Street Journal. Um, Energy Department commits $3 billion to expand rooftop solar access. That's a smart move. Produce more power from solar. Absolutely. Um, Top Fed official signals support for May interest rate increase. Yep, we've heard this. Mm. Uh, reading headlines all over the place, see if there's anything we need to worry about or curious about. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Copper shortage threatens green transition. Interesting comment. Um, Ford and General Motors labor contracts expire soon. Year of the worker heats up. This will be most interesting uh, when this comes up. Uh, when these contracts are uh, are negotiated, this will be something. Uh, labor negotiations will be a theme for investors in the second half of 2023. Automakers in the United Parcel Service and others all face expiring agreements with workers um mm, okay ups and the teamsters open negotiations this week for a new labor agreement the existing contract runs through July of this year. Um, more than 70% of UPS employees are represented by labor unions. Um, yeah, GM, Ford, and Chrysler parent Stellantis have contracts expiring in September. Um, that'll heat up during the summer. Um, yes, 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 yes. We'll be following that. Uh, Um, we're talking about what kind of increases in the in in wages are going to the unions are going to go after and this should be an interesting thing i don't know if they're after 10 percent or 12 percent or 15 percent i don't know five percent a year for three years in a row eight percent for two years in a row plus five percent third year i have no idea uh they want 10 percent now and eight and then six no idea um we're gonna find out uh eventually we'll find out uh but that's all i got at the moment uh, this is going to be uh union contract negotiations this uh, spring and summer are going to be incredibly important so we'll be following that a lot um uh okay what's going on here let's see um Beach Boy. Uh, thank you, Beach Boy, for this uh, donation. Um, and of course, bought back January 210s for 3606 after rollover at 5046. Uh, that's over 29,000 in gains. Thank you. Well done, sir. Uh, nice, nice little score there. Uh, Splare, uh, then just in case, I'm wishing everybody here a successful and relaxed day. Smoke Dog. Well, that what's not up is spacex's rocket that one isn't up right there a uh, dude it's been a grind but with rollovers and crossing my arms eight of my 27 gamestop calls are in the green now giddy up baby here we go 2134 we're up three cents on the day but uh, we're not going very far way to go everybody on scoring wonderful returns on your um, 
on your options uh, that you've been writing out there, everybody. Uh, just a beautiful job um, scoring some real nice, uh, hefty, multi-thousand dollar gains. Uh, I love this. Uh, it just uh, makes it far more pleasurable to keep on writing, baby. Indeed it does. Um, and for some of you, it obviously it just adds to your retirement. For some of you, it's the difference between working for a living and not working for somebody else for a living. Um, for others of you, it's another step close, closer to being able to walk away from employment gigs that you're just not interested in being part of. Chris Cam, welcome to Chillin' with Uncle Bruce Level. Welcome, Chris, to the gang. Uh, we have a new member. That is good stuff. Uh, welcome, my friend. Nice to have you here. And uh, welcome to the party, pal. Uh, Chris Cam was saying, bam, I'm here. Bam. All right, Chris. Uh, nice done. Uh, Hector, 13% over three years uh, is the manager is what the unions are going for. And manager, Uncle Bruce, why can't we go for barter economy? No money exchange, most of the services. John Anderson, thanks everybody. Uh, thank you, John. Manager, take out money from the equation. Hector, um, thanks, Uncle Bruce and Bagel Familia. More tomorrow, right on, pal. Way to go, everybody. Neat, 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 neat. Manager, exchange of services. Why not barter our way to richness and satisfaction and who knows what? I mean, not logistically possible from over great distances, I suppose. Uh, you know, there's that. In any event, it is what it is. Uh, welcome one and all to the show today. So good to see you folks coming in here. And congratulations on you, uh, those of you out there who are Tesla option uh, writers. Boy, have you had an interesting week this week. For sure has it been entertaining. Uh, no question about it. Uh Fun, fun times, uh, no doubt about that. All right. Anyway, there it is. Uh, that's the that's the dealio. Um, we are approaching the two hour mark of the show. The big E is hitting the knee emoji. So is uh, Splair. Uh, Marcus says, Uncle Bruce, I sold IBM June 16, 130s for six bucks. Um, it has a dollar sixty premium left on it. Should I wait, or is there some? Uh, is there another good move I can make? Um, well, how long ago did you write those? Um, did you write those uh, a month or two ago, and they've come down to here? Um, you might want to look at rolling your 130s maybe forward to uh, July or August or September and just take more money for the time. Uh, that might be an idea. Stocks 126.73. Uh, you could look at writing 128s, maybe uh, more. You know, bring in more cash. Can you bring in dollars more into your pocket with the same strike price? Um, that might be worth your while. Always keep an eye on that market. Uh, Splair, neat, neat, neat. Thumbs up. Chris, did you guys write both call and put options? Um, no, they're writing call options. Uh, some folks were buying put options in anticipation of a lower move on Tesla, but most here are writing call options. That is really what is going on here. Uh, we have now 172 thumbs ups. BT Zizzle. Uh, B Tizzle, uh, thank you for the knee, knee emojis. Uh, the knee attack is under away here uh, as we speak. Um, folks are hitting the knee emojis. Uh, uh, no, no getting away from it now. Neat, knee, 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 knee. Here we go. Coming into the last minute or two of the show. 172 thumbs ups, everybody. Thank you for uh, for helping out with the uh, knee emojis and helping out with thumbs ups today. Congratulations on making a ton of cash out there, you guys. Keep up the great work. Uh, just uh, just do one thing. Uh, get richer. Make Julia Roberts money. Uh, just keep right on doing that, and uh, and all will be well. Uh, there's there's no problem. It'll be then. It'll be a, a pretty a pretty good then. Uh, yeah, that's that's pretty good then. Uh, by all means, um, Brian, Uncle Bruce, my August 2250 game stops. I'm up 50% on those. Uh, not bad, Brian. Uh, you might want to buy those back and write 21s. Um, but then again, you might not. And just let them keep coming on down. Uh, it's all good. Brian, should I put in a stink bit? Try to buy them back? Well, if you can get them for a super cheap price, maybe. Um, on a dip, you need a dip. Um, will GameStop give you a dip? That's the that's the question. Twenty one twenty nine down two cents. We haven't had a dip yet today of any significance. Can we go down to twenty dollars a share somehow today? Think about it this way: if the shares go down to twenty fifty, what would those calls be trading at? 
what do you think? Uh, kind of figure out 80 cents from here, 70 cents from here in stock movement. Would that move your contract down 30, 40, 50 cents a contract? Then that's where your stake bid is. Uh, uh, an odd number buyback price uh, might be the play with a 2050 price. If it doesn't happen today, tomorrow. Doesn't happen tomorrow, Monday. Yeah, it's all good. Uh, always lowering the buyback price. Neat, 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 says JR. Um, what a day, uh, folks. Congratulations, uh, those of you who are getting richer uh, writing options, especially you uh, Tesla writers. Um, it's a fine, it's a payback day that has been a while in coming. And here it is. Uh, congrats, everyone. Take a look at uh, 175s, 180s, 185s going forward for big premiums. What's wrong with buying a call back for a fraction of what you sold it for and writing another one? Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, that's the answer, Alex. I will take, I will take making money writing options for 100, Alex. Um, uh, I'll take that quiz anytime you want to hand it over. Absolutely, everybody. Giddy up and let's have some fun, 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 everyone. Making money in the options market. They're just handing it to you. They're just, they're just giving it away. Uh, yes, let's take the dough. Thank you so, so much. It's good times. Uh, it's really good times. Uh, let's take a look at next week contracts. Kind of curious right now. If you were to write April 28th contracts next week, Friday, what could you get? Um, if you wrote 170s, you could get 455 to 460. If you wrote 175s, you could get 270 to 272 for next week, Friday. The stock's 167. If you want to write 167.50s right at the market, you get 575 to 585. But if you have to wait eight, eight days or between now and eight days, if you want to write May contracts, um, as of 10 minutes ago, uh, if you were writing 170s uh, for May the uh, May the fifth expiry, so that's two weeks. The 170s would bring you 640 to 650 right now. If you wanted to write May 12th, uh, the 170s will bring you 780, 790. Uh, 167.50 is 905 to 915. Um, there you go. Um, you want to write May 19th, the third Friday in May. The 180s will bring you 505, 110. The 175s, 680 to 690. And the 170s, 9 to 910. So there's some premium on top of the price of the contracts. Uh, definitely waiting for you. If you want to go to the third Friday of May, now you write those and look for them to depreciate by 50%, 70%, score them back, and then write something else. Could be done. Uh, interesting stuff. Um, Credit Savage, I just bought 100 more Matterport. And 100 more so far. Thank you very much. Drinking coffee now. There you go. Deuce caboose. Uh, cupola heavyweights duking it out at six bucks on so far right now. That's what's going on. So far, 604. Uh, down only a nickel on the day. GameStop up 15 cents, 2146. Dude, I see now the benefit of Tesla options. Got to get there sooner than later. While GameStop is grinding, Tesla is dropping much slippage. It's true. Uh, it's it's doing its thing. Uh, Tesla, 168, 13, down 1246. Apple down 42 right now. Uh, HPQ down 38. Dow down 111 points so far. Yeah, fun times, kids. Lots to uh, follow, lots to watch. Um, up to you how you want to write your calls and what prices to pick and how much to bring in. But uh, I like the idea where you guys bring in dollars and spend pennies to buy them back. I like that. I like where you write them for uh, $12 and buy them back for two. I like those. The nine fifty dollars write and the $1.80, $2.20 buyback. I like those games. I like those. Those trades are good. That's Julia Roberts money. That is uh, making Julia Roberts money in um, Notting Hill. Yeah. That's uh, that's pretty good then. That's So that's um, that's uh, pretty good then. Uh, yes, uh, I think it is. Um, I, I have friends of mine, actors. The pay is scandalous. Uh, how little they make. Um, what kind of acting do you do? Uh, I'm I'm a I'm a film actress. I make films, movies. Oh, well, oh, uh, uh, what kind of money do you make? How much did you get paid for the last movie you made? Uh, Fifteen million dollars. Uh, that's um, 
Yeah, that's pretty good then. Uh, yeah. um, so uh, you write op you write options. Uh, yeah, I write I write. Well, what options do you write on? I, I write I write options on Tesla. Oh, oh. Well, how much money did you make the last time you wrote Tesla options? Um, I made nine thousand dollars in two days. Um, so that's uh, that's pretty good then. Um, yeah, I, I make twenty five thousand dollars over a month. I, that's that's that that's pretty good then. Um, I did three rollovers. Um, and I ended up writing contracts into the 50s, and I bought them back in the 30s, and I made $26,000. That's uh, that's uh, that's pretty good then. Uh, yeah, that's Julia Roberts money. It's pretty good. Uh, I have a lot of Julia Roberts people here today. Uh, well done, everybody. Nicely, nicely scored, I say. Nicely, nicely scored. Um, here's where we're at uh, as we finish up the day here uh thank you uh, everyone for being here uh jr member for eight months gold bagel member oh yeah julia roberts money uh way to go there uh, jr um and uh, thank you for the 173 thumbs ups everybody if you're watching on the rerun please hit the thumbs ups we're desperate to get to 200 every single morning show so help us out if you like making money writing options um hit the thumbs up button and tell YouTube you like making money writing options. Uh, thank you all for picking up classes. Thank you all for one-on-ones. Uh, thank you all for donations and way to go making dough in this market. Keep up the wonderful work that you're doing. Get richer and uh, let's uh, let's just uh, get you into tax problems. Okay. This is going to be fun. Thank you all. Uh, that is it. Thursday, uh, April the 20th, uh, 2023 as the dow is off 111 points what's up with this julia roberts thing where have you been all morning uh, you're gonna have to rerun the show i have to rewatch it dude i'm getting john cusack money over here <laughs> right on uh making uh, making making hollywood money of some kind i suppose is what's being done here uh congratulations everybody making uh john cusack and julia roberts money or George Clooney money or whatever kind of money you're making, uh, just make money. Just, 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 just make money. All right. Let's just, 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 let's just go there and stay there. Tesla seems to be dropping again. One sixty-seven twenty-three. Uh, giddy up, everybody. Get richer and enjoy. I will see you all uh, tomorrow morning for sure. Um, for Friday, and uh, if anything crazy happens, we'll we'll come in. We'll break in uh, at any old time. But uh, thank you all. Keep up the good work, and we'll talk to you real soon. Bye from Palm Desert, California, and we'll talk to you a little later. Take care.